going on everyone john matrix here hope you're all having yourselves a wonderful day uh we're gonna be following up with some more gray lock here today we're gonna be checking out tape 009 trojan technology gray lock analog horse yeah i said it right this time gray lock not gray lock i said it right this time uh links will be down below in the description to um the gray lock playlist and the gray lock channel so if you please uh, click those links if you enjoy uh this gray lock series go over there and give the videos a like and uh feel free to subscribe to the channel if you're not already and uh, give the channel some support um we're doing this reaction live from our youtube members as you can see if, we, if you would like to come in and join us as uh, we have discussions while we're doing these reactions we'd love to have you guys come in here um there's a link down below in the description as well as the join button underneath the video you can check out the youtube membership tiers see if they have any interest for you you can get early access to videos priority any kind of requests you have etc etc just check it out if you decide you want to take your support to the next level but thank you very much for checking out the video hope you enjoy it and uh yeah let's get into it so again this is uh tape 009 trojan technology gray lock analog horror accessing <clears throat> gbs properties 101 wrav fm radio station date of broadcast december 13 1963 Segment, Announcement of the National Access Initiative. Beginning playback. In one of his first acts after his historic succession, <coughs> President Lyndon B. Johnson's administration has announced an upcoming program that will revolutionize communication and bring critical home electronics into every American household. Interesting. The National Access Initiative, as it's been named, yeah, is a program it is. designed... Yeah, and so I think we are... I think it kind of is confirmed that we're, like, watching... A database of information from something somewhere like this is all some kind of historical record that we're watching from some da database we're like we're, we're trying to get records from something that happened possibly at uh, a place up in the Greylock area you know maybe there was some kind of military base installation at the Greylock area that got destroyed and we're trying to essentially get whatever data and information we can about what happened there trying to ensure that all citizens have equal access to vital communication tools and ways to stay informed fostering connectivity security and unity across the nation under yeah. this groundbreaking initiative eligible american households will receive packages containing a myriad of electronics so that citizens may stay properly engaged with one another and remain knowledgeable regarding important events the electronics such as telephones, televisions, and radios. These packages will also include items aimed at keeping families safe with devices such as smoke alarms, burglar alarms, and even flashlights. These things will empower individuals to not only stay involved in their communities, but to remain prepared for any emergency as well. President Johnson himself was quoted as saying that in this era of progress and innovation, it is crucial for every American to have the tools necessary as they navigate the challenges of modern life in an era of ever-increasing technological dependence. These electronics packages are being made available to American households through a partnership with world-renowned technology manufacturer Simeodyne USA. Simeodyne USA, huh? Okay, okay. The plot's thickening. Whoa, 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 we're gonna back up there. Are you trying to say that the JFK assassination was happening because of this? President Kennedy says, no, ah, they're trying to say this company was behind the JFK assassination because uh, they said no to this technological uh, package that probably would have made them a shit ton of money. President Kennedy says no to Samadon USA. Assassination kills Kennedy and Lona Johnson sworn in. Interesting. Very interesting. The technology. Oh, what? Back up. Video activity, auto activity. This is 1966. The technology. Am I missing something? I, I don't. Simeodyne USA. I mean, it's hard to really tell what's going on. The technology giants. 
I don't, I don't know. I don't, I don't know if there's anything specifically we were supposed to see in there that I expertise missed. Expertise in creating cutting edge revolutionary technologies over the past decades has made them a household name. And their gracious contribution to this initiative ensures that the devices provided will be of the highest quality. I'm getting some like Bioshock vibes here now. Okay, that's kind of creepy. This dude just laying in the bed like that. Oh, is this supposed to be kind of like a situation where they're like trying to say that the government's watching us now? Is that what this is supposed to be? Like people have these uh, systems set up in their houses. So now they're being watched by Simuldine and the government. I think is that is that what this is supposed to be? I don't know, it feels like it just uh slows. It was like just show some of cameras uh, on the market in the 60s. Further enhancing the experience and benefits for American citizens. When asked for a quote during a I think they're trying to say that the, week, this company is watching people Simeodine now, keeping track of them. USA, Percival C. Rothwell had a lot to say. The national access. And that guy's not creepy looking at all. None of these guys are. Jesus. He looks like G Man from Half Life. This guy is straight up G-Man from Half-Life. I'm I'm waiting for him to uh, start calling me Mr. Freeman. This initiative represents a milestone in our nation's journey towards progress and inclusivity. It's a reflection of the American government and Simeodine USA's unwavering commitment to empower every American citizen, regardless of age, location, or income with the tools and resources needed to thrive in the electronic age. Through the miracle of modern communication, the word we speak. I mean, the thing is, too, as you think about this, is this is also going on during the Cold War era. So this would be an easy way for people to be, uh, um, like, stigmatized as communists, you know? Like, if you're, like doing something the government doesn't like that could label you as a communist and, you know, arrest you, et cetera, et cetera. The actions we take will be read, heard, and seen on the instant and judged in every city and village in America. They are the silent to delegate. We cannot see them or hear them. Well, the resolution in this is not very good at all, though. And we'll say that. 32% of American households still don't have a television in the house. This means they are less informed and are unable to respond to emergencies as quickly or efficiently. A much greater percentage of households have no smoke alarms to alert them in the event of a fire. Perhaps most shocking of all, 29% of Americans don't even have a telephone in their home meaning they're unable to call for aid or even just contact friends or family members. They are left disconnected. That's for creepy. For decades, people of all kinds have wondered what it is we're working on at any given time inside Simeodine. And for decades, we've kept it all quite secret. But I'll let you in on a little something. I can't help, but like when he says Simeodyne, I can't help but think of the Terminator, you know, Cyberdyne, Cyberdyne Systems Model 101, you know. I can't help but think of the Terminator, but anyway. Out here. Kennedy didn't go for it. But you showed me he was available. Was that just more of your bullshit? No. He's gonna fucking expose our whole plan for the NAI program. The meeting couldn't have gone worse. If that fucking Nick thinks he's gonna expose Simeon, whoa! Thing coming. Whoa! Man's getting racist and personal here. But well, we're not the only ones he's pissed off lately. After rejecting Operation Northwoods and then that executive order involving the Federal Reserve, there are a lot of snakes in the grass. And it's about time that Kennedy got dead. At Simeon USA, we're okay, brother. the future. Yeah. Yeah, they're and talking about it, yeah. Great, great of Obviously, they were not very happy with him. 
uh, amongst other people and factions in the country. Our company's founder and its current president, I'll tell you one irrefutable fact, the most important one. All roads lead to connectivity. Without connectivity, we have no future. The more isolated individuals are from one another, the weaker they are. The more easily defeated they are, and the less likely they are to see the value of their own lives. Mm. Hey, Hunter, have you seen the car keys? Humanity has stood many times at the precipice of extinction. I feel like at the end of this, we're going to see some kind of you know, footage of someone being killed by one of the creatures or something. And the only reason we are still here today is because we stood there together. Simeon <laughs> USA is here with you every step of the way. Oh, whoa, oh, oh, whoa, hold up, hold up, hold up. We got reading here. We got reading here. The NAI something was a trap. They are watch. They are watching. I would assume they are listening. Fuck uh, LBJ. Fuck Simeonine. I won't be your lab rat anymore. They are watching. They are listening. I won't be saying I'll be your lab rat anymore. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Well, okay, this was here for a while, okay? Oh, this is October 1990. This is a big jump. You know, I didn't really pay attention to that. Let me, let me go back to... This is still 1968. Now this is 1990. We make a promise to continue to. Yeah, yeah. These are hidden cameras and semi and the smoke detectors and all the various things they're talking about to monitor people. Support you into the future as well. Whether it's from a lack of infrastructure or a lack of. Basically, it's kind of a situation like what's, what's what's going on with people's data now. Like these companies are trying to learn what we're doing and keep an eye on us so that they can a probably better market to us but also just understand what people are doing and then also again this was happening during the 60s during you know still the cold war era you know so it could also be something where they could you know say it's part of national security and anyone that they would deem doing something that uh, they could say is un-american or communist or whatever they could uh, have justification to arrest them and do whatever they wanted to with them, kind of a situation. Income. No one should be restricted access to potentially life-saving and life-enhancing technology. And this, this is only the beginning. We have so much more planned so that Americans can all truly be equal in our society. Security. Connectivity, accessibility. It is our belief that it is these three factors that make America the best country in the world. Okay, so this is 1993. We have some creepy person just sitting here. Oh, oh, closet's opening. I want to uh, go back and look at that kind of frame by frame ish. No, no, okay. Something. Okay, what? Excuse me?
This is some cult shit going on right here. Mr. Rothwell also stated that these monumental benefits won't only be made available to American households, but to police and fire departments, schools, and to small businesses as well. The Johnson administration has stated that while they are going to begin launching this landmark program... Also, this was, this was an era and time where people really trusted the government. You know, this is before a lot of, you know, mistrust of the government started happening, so it would be prime time for people to just, like, accept this program and that the government is giving them things to upgrade their house, smoke alarms, telephones, uh, televisions, burglar alarms, et cetera, et cetera. They would take them without question. You know what I mean? They'd be like, oh, shit, cool. The government's looking out for our best interests and our security. Absolutely. What an awesome thing. Yeah, by the 90s, uh, someone had definitely already uh, started working on thought forms. It started in the 80s. Yeah. Yeah, everything that's happened from what we've seen so far had taken place in the 80s. Right away, it will first be made available only in select areas. So maybe that's something they're working. Maybe Simodine's like trying to create their own God. Maybe they're trying to create their own God and religion to like take over the world or some shit. You know, or maybe they're trying to bring back some kind of ancient God being or whatever that was from the proto Earth Mars thing before the collision happened. Or that maybe, you know, I, who the fuck knows, dude? It could go, it could go like way the fuck out there in that direction. You know what I mean? As construction crews from coast right. to coast, prepare exactly. to establish important infrastructure. The whole speech about him talking about looking God in the eye. Program. Well, what dude? Okay. Hold up. Hold up. Hold up. Hold up. Hold up. That's the setup for doom right there. That right there was the setup for doom. This is 1994. This is December 29th, 1994. This is this is little me here playing Doom 2 on this computer, on this old CRT monitor. This is like a Packard Bell. This was in my room playing Doom. Well, the doctor did pretty much only say that, but the more along the lines of evolving humanity to a god, right. Oh shit, we got some kind of fucking shit coming out here. Trying to talk to him. JD, I think. He's trying to like say his name. I don't know. The closed captions aren't saying anything. Quick his thumbs in the way, boy. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, there's definitely some kind of thought form was happening over here. Or is he saying Katie? Wake up, Katie. Wake up, Katie. Sounds like some predator shit. This sounds like some predator shit. Over here, turn around. Anytime. There you are. Who, who are you? I'm your imaginary friend. Oh, so she created her own thought form. Huh. Imaginary friend. You know, a little kid have their imaginary friend that they talk to, or whatever. But she's actually created a real one. This is a thought form, yada yada. Or could be the thought form, you know, masquerading as what she's saying is her imaginary friend. 
Yeah, it's creepy as fuck. I'm waiting for the jump scare to happen. Honestly, I'm waiting for the jump scare to happen. Is one where that's where I'm at. I'm just I'm waiting for something to jump out at the screen or whatever. Uh, and be loud and spoopy. Yikes. I noticed they were a little dirty, so I wanted to clean them for you. Mm -hmm. Yes, they look all shiny and new now. Here. Bro, I would not be fucking with anyone that talks like that. Like, mm -mm, brother. Mm -mm. I ain't going over there getting no glasses. I don't know you. And that creepy ass fucking voice. Nope. Nope. But see, like, on another level, this is kind of shitty to say, okay? But on another level, this is where survival of the fittest kind of stuff happens. And so it's like, if you're dumb enough, to walk over there and do that, you kind of deserve it. I'm just saying. Thank you. Where are they? I still can't really see because my eyes are so bad. You reach out and I'll put them into your hand. Okay. See, and I also wonder, like, is this the mimic creature? I mean, if it was the mimic creature, though, wouldn't it like attack her? Unless for some reason it can't like go out in the daytime, you know? Like if the daytime is the light somehow hurts it or something like that. I don't know. Yeah. Yeah. Jesus is right. It's all that coming. It's all that coming. Yep. The Johnson admit I mean, dude, I'm sorry, like I said, bro. Okay? Like, it's shitty to say, but that's survival of the fittest right there. If you're dumb enough to go over there with that creepy fucking voice and some stranger that you don't know is in your room talking to you like that, you get what's coming to you. You get what's coming to you, man, I'm saying. All right? That's your, that's your fault. I mean, true. She probably wouldn't have. Unless it's a situation where it can't come into the light. Like if it's one of those things where it has to stay in the dark or something like that to do whatever, you know, I don't know. Administration went on to say that their current projections for a nationwide yeah. release. It definitely looks like time. it's some kind of like apex predator thing. That's like, yeah, it's taking enjoyment by doing that kind of thing and, and messing with its prey. Between mid 1966 and early 1967. Citizens will be mailed informational packets regarding the national. And I mean, if that is still the mimic creature, right? This could be showing its progression of what it's learned because in the previous video, it could only mimic. It was just like mimicking random things, right? And so here now it's actually understanding our language 
and how to get people to do specific things. You know what I mean? So if it is that same mimic creature, it's getting smarter and it's learning. Access initiative, including information on how to apply as the program becomes available in our area. Now we're back in 1987. Bro, bro, I had this exact clock. Okay, I don't. I don't even want to talk about it. Hello, you've reached Alex Marsh and Tiffany Crisaldi. We're not able to get to the phone, so please leave a message after the tone, and we'll get back to you as soon as we can. Okay. Okay, so that was tape 009. We're on tape 0010, which we are going to watch before we get too heavily into that. So, tape 9 seems to indicate that Simodyne, Simeodyne, I should say, I, again, I'm, I'm thinking of Cyberdyne with the Terminator, but um, let me minimize this so my face is extremely white on the, the recording here. Anyway. So, but yeah, so Simeodyne uh, seems to be implicated in the JFK assassination as one of several parts of companies and or organizations that were upset with JFK at the time. And uh, they apparently had some kind of plan to uh, monitor various people in homes throughout the country for various things for whatever reason. But they... Obviously, JFK wasn't about it, and they seem to be implicated as part of, of that assassination, and, uh, and LBJ was uh, on board with it. So he gave them the okay. They started handing out electronics to people, and now semi, um, <clears throat> they have access, essentially, to people's houses. Um, and then, obviously, the major thing is we see... The child at the end um dealing with whatever that was whether it was another thought form or if it was whatever that mimic creature is and it's just showing how much it's learned and progressed um i don't know but very interesting um Oh, this appeared baby's parents. That's when stuff, but then they wanted to weapon a thought from so yeah, uh good job into 13. He's in that of course series have John uh you on flashback to A's tech not dude for real. Let me get you started with that stuff. But alright, so anyway, so that was tape 009. We're gonna watch now tape 0010. Or it's not 0010, but 010 from the Greylock uh analog horror series. This is messages from the dead. So we're back out in the woods with a camcorder, it seems. It is hard to tell what this is at all. Oh, this is some kind of interference. Now, I wonder if like this interference and stuff going on is supposed to be like an indication that there's a thought form near. That's kind of creepy looking. It looks like there's a face right there. Okay, so I see what it was. I was wondering if we were back at the construction site where that camera looking thing was in, in the tree. Really can't tell what we're looking at. So yeah, is that supposed to be a camera? It's supposed to be like a trail cam thing or whatever that someone set up. Oh no, it's just a dead animal, okay. Not at all a camera. Starting to get the feeling the camcorder footage is like a reporter investigating Simeodyne. Maybe the same person who broke into the facility in episode one. Well, um, in the previous videos that you hadn't watched yet, the guy um, who was talking to us had said he sent a bunch of information to an investigator like a private investigator so 
the camcorder stuff that we're watching could be this private investigator that's trying to figure out what's going on. We seem to have a lot of weird things in them here. It looks like a dead drop, literally. Yeah, for real. This is just a dead possum, I think. No possums were hurt in the making of this video. I actually have no idea whatsoever. I'm just saying that. Or a field mouse or something. So now wait. Are these the same gloves that we saw from what was entering that house in one of the earlier videos? Yeah, is this the same? I'd have to go back and look at the video, but is this the same set of gloves that we saw and the when we saw that guy like breaking into the house or whatever and he heard like someone getting murdered and then he looked out the window and we saw the hand reach up and like stop him from closing the window is this the same set of gloves because it kind of does but I, I i'm remembering them being brown though not black but if that's the case then wasn't that the masked creature I don't know. I might be. I don't know. What are you doing here, fellow? Nineteen eighty seven. Hey, babe, I'm just checking. Hey, in. babe, could you please give me a call as soon as you can? Don't worry about work either, please. You're way more important, okay? <laughs> okay, I love you. Bye. Okay. Okay. Oh. Also in the previous video, there was a brief little snippet um with the husband and the wife who lost their baby and whatever that thing was. You know, when we were in one of the previous videos, there was like a flash and the baby that was in the womb had disappeared while the woman was getting an ultrasound. Um we saw a brief little snippet of that, then we also saw like a mutated, disfigured, like, uh, conjoined twin baby, like crying on a table somewhere. Um, and then we saw like a little brief, like newspaper snippet or whatever of the husband and the wife. So I think this is the husband talking to someone about the situation here. Be honest i'm not sure if uh, both those cameras were from the same person but i, th uh, I think both just place took place the night where all those attacks we might be him with the best game i'm not sure uh maybe i i don't know I, I don't i don't think the newspaper article said she killed herself i was uh uh from the picture in the newspaper article i was kind of implying in my head that I think that's what ended up happening. But I don't know if that's what ended up happening or not. I don't I don't know if it was confirmed that she did or not. Um, we both took a heart, but... I mean, it could be the case here. It could be that this is what's going on. He could be in a police station and they're investigating what happened to her and trying to make sure that he didn't murder her. I would call home every day 
during our lunch break, just so we could talk and check in on each other. She always picked up the phone whenever I called. All right, she didn't this time, so yeah. She didn't pick up the phone. Yeah. I mean, yeah, like, think about it. Like, this is this is before cell phones, right? Like, it's even a situation. This is before cell phones, and well, I don't know they had they they had pagers back then. Um, but yeah, this is even before cell phones. So it's like the only thing you can do is keep calling this one number. You can't actually like call her actual cell phone and see if she'll answer or text her or anything. You know what I mean? Okay. Love you. What the fuck is going on? Okay, I'm not sure what's going on, but I'm gonna head home. I'm sorry, I'm just... I'm kind of freaking out. I'll be there soon. I love you. Oh lord. Uh, password is always password. Are they trying to say she killed herself in some kind of ritual? Intake report for Tiffany Elaine Marie Crisaldi. Are they gonna try to say she tried to like bring her baby back to life or some shit? Doing some kind of ritual? That would be creepy as fuck. Caucasian female age 28, 29, 26, 30, What the, the, okay. She's just got blood pouring out of her eyes and that's not normal. A resinous black substance adhered to the face, neck and upper thoracic region. Samples have been obtained. Uh, additionally, the eyes are fully retracted. These observations are aside from any traditional indicators of struggle or violence as a cause of death. It definitely doesn't look like suicide. I mean, unless she took some kind of really weird fucking insane poison that could do something like that. That's not suicide. A legal and legal mortis align with the estimated time of death. Of particular note, and the reason for this specialist report is an unusual finding on the abdomen specifically below the sternum. A symbol of some sort has been carved into the flesh. Equally concerning is the absence of hemorrhaging in the surrounding tissues. Due in part to this, I have been able to ascertain that this symbol was carved into the skin post-mortem. In regard to timing, based on my analysis, I would say the cuts were likely made several hours after death. That's why the police are questioning the husband. Okay, that makes sense. <clears throat> well, photographs and casts have been made for further analysis. 
are they consulting with forensic anthropologists and symbology experts to better understand the nature and potential significance of the symbol? In summary, while the exact cause of death is yet to be determined, it is the carving that requires the initiation of an immediate and in-depth investigation. This aspect of the case should be treated with utmost priority due to its unusual and unnerving nature. No shit. I mean, obviously, so something internal happened to her that made her hemorrhage blood from her eyes, nose, and mouth, and probably ears. Uh, obviously, we saw some kind of ritual circle. And then, apparently, this was carved into her several hours later. I wonder if it's a situation where... They tried to put a thought form into a physical body as, you know, because her womb was still kind of fresh from what happened, right? They may have, like, used her purposefully. They took the baby away from her, but she still had, like, a womb, you know? Um, and so they tried to, like, somehow implant a thought form into her to give birth to for this ritual, you know, something along those lines. I don't know. Interesting. And I mean, we saw in the previous videos we watched some kind of conjoined twin baby on a table crying. Which I would assume would be some kind of indication that that happened from this as part of this ritual. Uh, I don't know. Uh, her age kept changing and glitch. We're generally no idea what that means. I didn't notice that either. Uh, yeah, I swear she really. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, she just fell off, sir. You know, whatever. Uh, so Simi and I totally covered this up too, which explained the newspaper article implying suicide, I guess. Why else would they have footage on the files? Well, there was some cult-like imagery. Yeah. Yeah, there was definitely some kind of cult stuff going on. For sure. From um, the things we were seeing. Huh. Okay, Tiffany. We're recording now. Okay. Is this supposed to be her as a child? So, Tiffany, you just had your sixth birthday, didn't you? Yeah. Did you have a party? Yeah. How was it? This guy's voice is creepy okay. as fuck. That's good. You're awfully quiet today. Are you seeing them again? Yes. Can you see them right now? Yes. Where are they? So she's been able to see thought forms since she was little or had them around her since she was little. Where are they, Tiffany? They're everywhere. I see dead people. Okay. Interesting. So she's had the ability to whatever see hear thought forms around her since she was little they've messed with her since she was little potentially interesting private lock for case file 87-091-HA for my home archives this is jeremy irons May 19, 1987. time is 8.03 p.m I conducted an examination of Miss Tiffany Crisaldi today. Her body arrived shortly before I was to leave the office for the day, but I decided to at least begin external examinations. Though it seemed misfortune loomed over the proceedings. Electrical flickers and inexplicable drops and spikes in room temperature. Repairs may be required. Yeah, yeah, I, I, again, I feel like it's a situation where they're trying to bring some kind of thought form into like a physical body and they're used her for that because, you know, she was recently pregnant and then 
they took her baby away so what i feel like's happening is she was she was pregnant right we saw her getting an ultrasound and then in the middle of the ultrasound the uh baby and her disappeared so i feel like she had been the target of some kind of ritual to begin with they had done some kind of previous ritual that removed the baby and then i feel like they tried to implant some kind of thought form maybe maybe they're trying to again bring some kind of ancient god being or whatever into physical reality through a baby uh and then yeah they used her that that's what the other part of this ritual is you know this second half that killed her you know what i mean some fucked up shit to refrain from mentioning this part whatsoever, but... but I feel compelled to do so. After placing Miss Chrysalvi in storage and moving on to cleaning up, my sister Sarah mentioned that she'd heard what sounded like a woman crying. Yikes. Coming from the direction of the cooler. I shrugged off her remark and let her leave. Yikes, is she still alive? Early, telling her she was likely stressed or overtired. And I continued cleaning up on my own. Or did she turn into a thought form? I didn't dare to tell her that... I... Heard it too. Are you ready, Tiffany? I think so. Oh, you know. What the fuck, dude? Yeah. Okay. I'll need you to follow my instructions, okay, Tiffany? Bro, this is going down a weird fucking rabbit hole, man. Some fucked up shit's going on here. As long as you do that, everything will be fine. Can you do that for me? Okay. Good. I'm going to place this doctor is like the creepy he sounds like a creepy pedo version of mr rogers or something dude like i don't know this guy's voice is unsettling sounds that will help you through this exercise good now close your eyes and keep them closed that is like some of the most unsettling music i've ever heard i want you to picture yourself standing outside your house in your front yard it's a beautiful day out with big fluffy clouds in the blue. i i don't know i don't think they've said yet i don't think they've said is simiodine or if this is just some other some other kind of cult that had been watching her since she was a kid, since she had been able to see thought forms or whatever. She she was like sensitive to their influence. I don't I don't they haven't like said any of that yet. Blue sky. No one else is around. Now look down at the grass around you and watch how each blade moves in a gentle breeze. Now look forward and see your house. And look around and see the trees around your yard. Watch how the breeze affects the leaves as it passes through. Make the wind blow a little harder, enough so the branches are swaying a little bit. You can hear all the rustling of the leaves around you. Is this supposed to be some kind of guided thing where she's like, okay. I'm wondering if this is supposed to be some situation where like this guy is actually doing an experiment with her right now. I wonder if he's trying to see if she has some kind of ability to astral project herself to her front yard and will essentially to happen what he's trying to get her to do. Hearing the rustling of the leaves, trying to get the wind to blow a little harder, etc., etc. And then th that's just kind of like where my mind's going on this right now. Wind 
calms down now, and you begin walking very slowly towards the front door of your house. Step. 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 And with each step you take, it looks like the day's getting later and later. Soon the golden rays of the sunset are shining against your house. The front door is closer now, but you still have some more steps to go. Step. 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 And now you're only three steps from the door. Step. The sun vanishes behind the trees, going down. Step. The stars begin twinkling in the sky above, and the moon shines its soft glow over everything around you. Step. You arrive at the front door. You reach out your hand, turn the doorknob, and open the door. Your house looks like it always does at night time, except you're the only one here now. You take off your shoes. First the right shoe. Then the left shoe. Whatever he's doing is creepy as fuck. Your feet. This music. You can smell the familiar aroma of your house. This music is super creepy. I don't see how this can be relaxing at all. Everything is in its proper place. You are alone. You're going to walk quietly to your bedroom now. You come to the stairs and begin to walk up. Walk uh, my bedroom's on the first floor. I don't have to go upstairs, adjust glasses. Hold on to the banister as you go, letting your hands slide up. Step. 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 You reach the second floor hallway. Everything is in its proper place. You are alone. Nobody else is here with you. You look to the right and you can see your bedroom door closed at the end of the hall. And you start walking. Yeah, nice and this is very creepy. It. It's very creepy and yeah, I mean, it's also just the idea of you have some kind of unknown doctor talking to a young, you know, girl in, in whatever he's doing. It's very creepy. It's very creepy. You see the door coming closer with each step. You can see the pink flower stickers that you put on it two years ago. And the small wooden sign that reads. I mean, just his mannerisms of his voice, like how he's talking, the softness of it, it just, it's very creepy. Tiffany, with the little blue bird in the corner. Step. 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 I mean, I gotta say, though, this man would have a great ASMR channel on YouTube right now, though. Like, he's, he's like, I'm falling asleep here. You're at your bedroom door now. You reach out your hand and grasp the doorknob and turn it. The door opens, and you can see that your room looks just like it did. There. I mean, yeah, I get it. I get it. You're trying to not upset them. You're trying to make them feel safe and comfortable, etc. It still doesn't make it any less creepy. Yeah, exactly. Last you saw it. You see the colorful quilt on your bed. You see your small white dresser with all the stickers and scuff marks, just like always. Your stuffed animals are all resting by your purple toy box. But, I mean, it's also getting amplified by whatever the fuck this music is, dude. Like, I don't know. This feels like, I, it's almost kind of like giving poltergeist vibes or something like that. I don't know, dude. It's just, it's creepy. Comfortable. You feel safe. You are alone. You walk into a room, and that's when you can see something different that's never been there before. Tell me what you see. It's... It's a 
door next to my window. That's right. It's a door. What does the door look like to The fuck? It, it looks black. It has weird marks on it. The wood looks weird. Walk to the door and open it. How about no? I'm scared. It doesn't matter if you're scared. You must open the door. Good job. And that's when the devil came. Good job, Tiffany. Now tell me what's on the other side of the door. It's a small room. Somebody's in there. No, Tiffany, you're alone. No. No. There's someone here. He's facing away from me. He's standing and tall. He's very tall. Tiffany, you are alone. Nobody else is there. Now tell me what else is in the room. There's a TV. The screen is all fuzzy. And the tall man is watching it. Tiffany, I want you to focus on removing the man from your mind. When I snap my fingers, he will be gone. Yeah. He will be alone. Yep. The man's shaking. His body is cracking. Okay, Tiffany, I'm going to count down from five. When I snap my fingers, you will return to the real world. Five. You're feeling more awake. He's now. turning around. Four. Everything around you is becoming He's amazing. looking at me. He sees me. Three, Tiffany. You can feel the chair you're sitting in again. Two. Everything around you fades to the blackness behind you. One. Full control of your body. Zero. We're awake, Tiffany. You will return to reality now. There's a little something in there. Just wanna see if we can see that. I can get to it here. Maybe not. Looked like there was like a person there for a second, but. I guess not. All right, well, yeah, that was super fucking creepy. Dude, yeah, for real. Like, this is taking, this is going in a lot of different directions and a lot of different things. You know, like. There's cult stuff going on now. And it's like. Yeah, I don't know. Is this cult somehow like trying to summon an ancient god or something like that into reality and they try to use Tiffany for that? Uh, you know, with their pregnancy. What how does that connect with what's going on with all these various cultures and these temples that were in this mountain where this mimic creature was and this excavation site where they all got like mutated by some kind of like Nurgle pestilence or something like that? uh what's you know with all the the camcorder stuff we're seeing here how is that related to this person maybe investigating stuff and then over arcing like how does simiodine play into this obviously they were trying to do certain experiments with thought forms but how does that tie into everything that's going on here are they part of this cult you know is, is simiodine actually run by a cult uh, of some kind of like demon or devil worshippers or whatever, or some other kind of entity or, or whatever worshiper that history doesn't necessarily know of, that only maybe a certain secret sect of people know of, and they're trying to like revive it in some way. Like, I don't know. There, there's a lot of different things that could be happening or what's going on here. It's very interesting. Uh, yeah. I mean, clearly she seems to have some kind of, I don't know, maybe some kind of psych psychic connection or something, because obviously she sees 
thought forms has some kind of connection to them. And maybe that's why this this cult is using them. And then it's like, is she really dead? Was her. Was she turned into a thought form and some kind of ritual and like. Her spirit or whatever is attached to her body. That's why she's like crying. Uh, her you can hear like her crying through her corpse or something like I, I don't know, dude. This is going in a lot of different places. And now this guy is doing an autopsy on whatever this is or something. And like why? Oops. And like, what's with the gun digests? For sure. She's definitely for sure more important than her first appearance show. And obviously it wasn't just a suicide. Like that was far more than just a suicide. Or this was a CIA dead drop technique IRL that rat thing. I mean, I mean, maybe I mean, that could be what's going on with the gun digest stuff here. Maybe the investigator that this dude hired actually is working for the CIA and the CIA is trying to figure out what's going on with Simeodyne and whatever is happening here at, at Mount Greylock, you know, I don't know, dude. But he's still wearing the same gloves from before. But it's like, why would a CIA agent record this stuff? You know what I mean? I mean, obviously, we need to see it as the viewers to know what's going on. Okay, I put some kind of cassette tape in there. Obviously, this is the symbol that was carved on her body. Okay. More creepiness. Maybe not see I had someone with the armor police background and investigator. Like I said, uh, about it was meant for Jim. Meant for Jim Megram. Have we heard of Jim before? I don't remember that name from this. Oh shit. She's still alive. Or maybe not. And you could see her face there. You could see her face there in the corner. Your face is coming into view. Okay, well, I guess it seems like she's turned into a thought form. 
through whatever happened there. Uh, yeah. All right, so that was tape uh, 010. So we watched tape 09. We to watch tape 009 and 010. Um, what are the names of them? A Trojan Technology, Greylock, and then Messages from the Dead. Interesting. Well, a lot happened in both of those. There's some kind of conspiracy with the Simeodine company. Obviously, that's part of behind of the JFK assassination, but that they also are wanting to monitor uh, citizens of America for whatever reason to gain information from us for whatever reason. Um, and then, yeah, obviously this Tiffany person there's far more things going on with her than originally known. She seems to be some kind of medium or have some kind of maybe some kind of psychic connection or some kind of connection to something since she was a child. Could see these thought form spirits, whatever. <clears throat> um, you know, was pregnant, was going to have a baby, had an ultrasound. During the ultrasound, her baby vanished somehow mysteriously. And then it seems like she was made part of a ritual. And who knows what that ritual entailed or what it was about. But whatever happened in this ritual, you know, made her hemorrhage blood from, you know, her eyes, mouth, nose, ears, probably. Uh, and then she had this symbol carved into her, which the symbol that was carved into her was also the same symbol that we saw on whatever this tape is that Jim got, who seems to be the investigator, um, trying to investigate whatever's going on. So who knows what that means? Who knows if that symbol is a situation? And the, the autopsy said the symbol was carved on her body hours later. Who knows if this symbol is supposed to be something that's like a protective ward that kept something else from happening worse? But clearly at the end here, she seems to have been turned into a thought form of some sort. You know, she kicked open uh, the 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 morgue room door thing, you know, the freezer essentially she was put in and we saw her crying there at the end. So I don't know, this is definitely going in a lot of different directions. Um, I was behind the video like half a minute without realizing it was wondering why my comments were so late. Yeah, I think that's just a part of YouTube, unfortunately, with uh, how that works. So. But yeah, so I don't know, a lot, a lot happened in this one, a lot happened in this one. That throws a lot more questions into the mix. And there's only two more currently, there's only two more videos left in this ongoing series. So I don't think we're gonna get any more answers at the moment really as to what's going on as there's still a lot more uh, probably to come. But anyway, uh, so yeah, that was Greylock Tapes uh, 009 and uh, 010, um, Trojan Technology and Messages from the Dead. Links will be down below in the description to the Greylock uh, series playlist and to the Greylock channel. Please do me a favor, click those links if you're enjoying, um, you know, going through this with us. Uh, if you enjoy the original videos, etc., go over there and give them a like and, you know, give the channel a sub if you're, uh, you know, enjoying going through the series. Um, we're doing this reaction live from our YouTube members. We'd love to have you guys come in and join us. You know, help us go through here and have discussions on what's going on as we're trying to break down this video and uh, as we go through and do reactions to other videos. There is a join button underneath the video here as well as a link in the description. Uh, if you decide you want to join there, you can check out the YouTube membership uh, benefits and the tiers that I offer. You can get early access to videos for already any requests, uh, sub discord channel access, stuff like that. Take a look, see if you have any interest in taking your support to the next level. If you decide you want to help me out monetarily, we're greatly appreciated as it is the dream to be able to do this for a living. Um, but regardless, thank you very much for taking the time out of your busy day to come and hang out and watch the video. Hope you enjoyed it. If you did, consider leaving a like and a sub as it helps me and it helps the channel grow. And uh, yeah, we'll see you on the next episode uh, where we're probably going to watch the last two current videos in the Greylock series. So 
Oh uh, yeah, thanks for watching guys. Hope you're all having yourselves a wonderful day. We'll take you uh well we'll catch you guys next.